buying over 50,000 Wonka Flocks every hour, and the first golden ticket has been found. Here's the family now. Miss Ju, may we have a word? The name is Glue, G-L-O-O-P, -O -O and this is my little boy, Augustus. Tell us about the ticket. I just knew Augustus would find the golden ticket. He had so much candy, it was almost impossible for him not to find one. In fact, you could say we've been training him since the day our little Pudgy Wudgy was born. Training? Well, of course, for a young boy to eat as much as Augustus, he needs to be trained all day long, eating all types of food. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wolf One Bush for the Wonka Boys is getting bigger by the minute. It seems that the second golden ticket has been found. We are both flying to Sao Paulo, Brazil, where the things are sweet for Veronica Sol. That's Veruca, you in, Missile. Veruca, Veruca, Veruca. Oh, this is all. As I understand, you have sweetened Veruca's chances with a little assistance. As soon as my little girl had to have one of those golden tickets, I bought hundreds of thousands of Wonka bars. I'm in the nut business, fiat, cashews, and many Brazil nuts. So I my factory girls stop shelling Brazil nuts and start shelling rappers. Daddy, that hideous reporter said my name wrong on live television. I want her fired. For you, dear, anything. Anyway, after days of shelling chocolate wrappers, one of my factory girls finally found a blasted golden ticket and let her take the lucky piece of chocolate home to her 17 children. How generous. Daddy, now she's being suggested! I want her fired, do you hear me? Fired, fired, fired! We interrupt the Orphan Anti Radio Hour to bring you this important news flash. A third golden ticket has been located in Snell, Georgia. What's your name, young lady? Violet, Violet Bonga. Violet, quit chewing your gum so loudly. Remember what you said? I can't, it, Ma. You flip your jaws as much as I do. Now, Violet, tell us about the ticket. Well, I'm a gum chewer normally. But when I heard about Wonka's contest, I laid off the gum and switched to candy bars. Now, of course, I'm right back on gum. In fact, I've been chewing on this piece over here for over three months solid. I've been in the record set by my best friend, Cornelia Prince Metal. Hey, Cornelia! Listen to this! This is the sound of you losing! <laughs> Listen to the horn! Ladies and gentlemen, Wonka Bar sales are up to over 200,000 per hour, and this is just it. The fourth golden ticket has been located in Television City, California. Living under the fifth, and the final ticket to be found. Miss Judy, tell us about the ticket. You see, Mike and I were. Shut your pile of Didn't I tell you not to interrupt? This is the best part. Crack, swag, mad, dead. Did you see him die? That was so totally awesome. Very cool, Mike. Now, Miss Judy, back to the golden ticket. Yeah, I got a ticket. Big deal, dog. Miss Judy, I'm going to miss our for second favorite show, and I'm going to have to leave the house to throw some stupid chocolate back. Whatever. Hit me. Get him harder. And which school does their golden ticket buy for a tent? What? What? Are you crazy? Who needs school? I've got the net, TV, and my Game Boy. Fool. Some kids like electric trains, and some kids like to use their brains to earn a university degree. I don't share their first knowledge, I don't need to go to college, me, I see it all on TV. Some kids like to sing and dance, and some kids go to Paris, France, where others can be watching something see. I don't learn a single thing, cause I can download anything, it's all on my computer for free.
sense. But I'm more worried about Charlie though. Why? Well, did you know that Charlie has to walk slowly and start running like other kids so he can back up his energy? Well, I said far too much already. Um, I guess I see you soon. Well, I see that four children found the gold tickets. I wonder who the fifth lucky person would be. I hope this young one well like that will help you clue to it. Or somebody as useless as that TV boy. It really makes you wonder how all the things happen in the nowadays. I mean, the brats we've been hearing about. No! No cool! Some do, of course. In fact, it's not possible to do, but no cool! And now, there's only one who did that. Quite so, and just to show as I'll be having cabbage to for supper tomorrow, that ticket will go to some nasty little beast who doesn't deserve it. I think I know somebody who would like this golden ticket. I love the challenge. I sure would, John, but you know, you know The smell of that wonderful chocolate makes me so dreamy that I often fall asleep and bump into Mr. Walker's face. That should be like that dream don't come true. Well, Polly, I have a tell that sometimes once you dream may come true. Gee, maybe you think so? Gee, I wonder. You know, it sure would have been nice to try that one as big old ticket. You mean with that ten feet we gave from the chocolate like yesterday? Yes, the one who gave me the one piece of candy yesterday here. Just to see how I do need to say that to the two girls. Let's see how I try to enjoy the candy. We just love to really want the chocolate. Well, we didn't really act that disappointing. Well, if we didn't that bad disappointing, it's just because he's a fine boy and doesn't want anybody to feel sorry for him. He's a very nice boy. I'd do anything for him. I mean, I'd even.
chillers? Do you want some chocolate? There you go. Welcome everyone. One for you too. Can you get it? Would you mind? Thank you. And you? Why not? So, how are you doing children? Welcome. Mm. I wonder if I can recognize all of you from the pictures in the newspapers. Oh, you're August Gloop, aren't you? Uh, yeah, this is my Delighted to meet you. Delighted. Very happy. And, oh, you're my TV. Come on, Miss Very happy, very happy, Mr. Television. Uh, sorry, Miss TV. Um, you're all a poor guardian. So what if I am? Let's just get on the whole thing, huh? I'm Miss Poor Guardi, I suppose. My pleasure, my pleasure. Mr. Sol and your daughter Veruca Sol. Hello. Don't shake his hand, Daddy. He's probably all stinking chocolate. And you must be the boy who found the golden ticket just yesterday, Charlie Buckhead. Congratulations, congratulations. And this is my Grandpa Joe. How do people so walk up? How do you do, Grandpa Joe? How do you do? Well, so, is that it? Okay, we can proceed. Any of you feeling warm? Alright, yeah, it's a bit hot in here. I have to keep it warm for the workers. Yeah, they can't stand the cold. Who are these workers? Be patient, we shall see everything as we go along. Follow me, please. Gallons and gallons an hour. Look, look, over there, what is it? It's moving, it's walking, why? It's a little man, it's a little person. There, behind one of the She's right, Grandma Joe, look, it's a tiny man. Look, 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 look,
people? They're my workers. No people in the world as small as that? Let me tell you something, boy. There's over thousands of them in my factory. They're Oompa Loompas. What do you mean? Imported directly from Oompa Loompa land. A terrible place in the forest. When I found them, they were practically starving to death. So I asked them to come and work in my factory in a safe place. They love dancing, they love music, and I spell you hear some great deal of singing from time to time. Hey, Daddy, I've decided I want to be Goomba. Bet you want me to be Goomba. I want to be Goomba and I want to take it home and work with you. I want to be Goomba and get it. But I want to be Goomba. Alright, I can't get it from this insecurity. I'll see you later on the before the day is out. Augustus, Augustus, dear, I don't think you're going to do that. Augustus, please, do you mind coming away? My chocolate must be touched by human hands. Augustus, don't think you're walking out. Come away from the river at once. The whole point is to be terrific. And you forget to drink your own. Augustus, come away now. You're dirty, my chocolate. Augustus, don't be doing that nasty cold of yours about a million people all over the country. Be careful, Augustus. Well, there's no knowing where they're going. There's no 
earthly way of knowing which direction you're going or which way the river is flowing. Well, not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing for the rowers to keep on rowing. And they're certainly not showing any sign that they're slowing. Please tell us, Rocker. He's crazy. crazy. He's bony. He's nutty. He's screwy. He's fatty. He's thinking. He's dotty. He's dumb. He's goofy. He's buggy. He's wacky. He's smooth. Oh no, he's not. Roll on, please. Faster. Faster. Answer silly questions. Wrong, please. Look, there's another door. It says whips. Whips? What on earth do you use whips for? Well, to whip cream, of course. Just like whipped cream is not whipped creams unless it has been whipped with whips. Wrong, please. Look, there are more doors. It says jelly beans, cacao beans, chocolate beans, has beans. Has beans? You're one yourself. Okay, we're here, finally. We're we're here. We're, we're, uh, we're up there. You'll Suck it, suck it, suck it, and suck it, and we'll never get any smaller. It's like gum! Ah, no, 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 it's not like gum. Gum is for chewing. You chew one of these, you break your front teeth off. Oh, and they change color once a week. Another thing which I'm terrifically proud of is this machine. This machine makes a gum, just a simple gum. Well, that's all. Don't you know which kind of gum this machine makes? It's like a stick of chewing gum! It's like a gum of chewing gum! No, it's not just a simple gum. This gum here, inside this machine... This gum here can last forever. And it's a free course dinner. In fact, it is pea soup, roast beef, and blueberry ice cream. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean that when you chew it, you can actually feel all of the tastes. Isn't it fantastic? That's utterly impossible. Yes, it is. So long as it's gone, then that's for me. Now, Mr. Marka, how about you hand over this magic gum of yours and we'll see if the thing works. Well, what's that thing on all of the gum? I haven't got it quite right yet, yes. so I beg you don't take, don't take it, Violet. Please don't. There's no. Ah, no, spit it out Did now. Don't. Keep on chewing, you know. Oh, keep on chewing, dear. Oh, this is such a great day for our family. Let's be the first girl in the whole world. Come on, chewing the meal. It's fantastic. Spit it out now. Ice cream. Blue, the rest, the nicest ice cream. 
Oh well, because I insist on using only whole nuts in my factory. And only squirrels can do this job perfectly. And see how they top this nut to see if it is a bad one? In fact, when it is a bad one, it makes a hollow sound. And they don't even open water, they, they're opening it. They just throw it down the garbage chute. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Get one. Don't be silly, sweetheart. This belongs to Mr. Mopa. But I don't care, I want one. All I've got at home is two dogs, and four cats, and six bunny rabbits, and three cats, and a green parrot, and a bowl of goldfish, uh, a cage of white mice, and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel! All right, all right. Daddy will get you a squirrel just as soon as he possibly can. No, I don't want any bold squirrel. Very well. Welcome. How much do you want for one of these crazy squirrels? Uh, Name your price. She can't have one. They're not for sale. Who says I can't? I say. I want a squirrel. I want a squirrel and a new palumpa. I want a squirrel and a new palumpa and a pink candy bird. I want to feast. to the great fire incinerator at the end. Now see here, Mr. Wonka. I think you've gone a shade too far. I do indeed. My daughter may be a bit of a frump. I don't mind admitting it, but that doesn't mean that you can roast her to a crisp. I'll have you know that I'm extremely cross with this. I really am. Please don't be cross, my dear sir. I expect your daughter is just stuck down there. She might have not gone down the pipe at all, and if that's the case, I'll have to do this is good air and pull her up. Very fast! Are you down there? Good gracious me! What a lot of rubbish there's going to be today! And Gina, what's it like down there? Help! stuck down. Yeah, the Oompa-Loompas are gonna get them out of there pretty soon. Well, what about the great fire incinerator? Fire incinerator? That? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, they only light it up every other day. Yeah, they've been very lucky for today. Mr. Wonka, but the Oompas, potatoes, and the cabbage and fish in this bag. I'd like to know. Do you think this is the moment to make such questions? By the way, of course you do. Don't you think I live on chocolate, do you? Okay, now. We shall move on. My feet are getting tired. I want to watch television. Boy, you're 
really annoying me at the moment. Why would you want to watch television here? There's so much to explore. Well, anyway, if you guys are tired, we better take the great white elevator. It's just down the hall. Let's go.
it's just grab it, Mike. You're not Mike. Whatever. Fantastic! Yes, imagine when I will start selling this all over the country. It's gonna be the best way to advertise. There's gonna be a voice saying, Eat Monkey's Chocolate. It's the best in the world. Don't you believe us? Try it one yourself now. Oh, I'm also sorry for all these food delivery co corporations. But, but whatever. Mr. Walker, could you send other things on television? Like, me? could you send a real life person? A person? Are you crazy? But could it be done? <sighs> Child, I don't know. I suppose it could, but I wouldn't risk it. Move, come on. Don't go through. Look at me! Factory. Will you? Will I? 